eternally ill toddler who loved firefighters meets his heroes just hours before passing away. Trucker Dukes was a three-year-old honorary firefighter from Moi, Hawaii. He passed away on March 3, 2017, just days away from his fourth birthday. Trucker began a lifelong battle with neuroblastoma shortly after birth. In his short time on Earth, he had an enormous impact. Trucker became an honorary firefighter in two states, a Hawaiian warrior legend and an exemplified strength, courage, and bravery. Although cancer had spread throughout half of his body by the time he was 19 months old, he fought to live, undergoing chemotherapy, radiation, and removal of a brain tumor in 2015. The family traveled to New York to get the best care for Trucker. Their travels would soon bring Trucker some amazing new friends. Trucker's father, Joshua Dukes, is a Moy firefighter, something that Trucker really adored. He and his siblings enjoyed dressing up as firefighters so proud of their heroic daddy. While Trucker and his mother, Shauna Dukes, stayed in New York at the Ronald McDonald House, they encountered New York City firefighters on a call, and Trucker was immediately drawn to them like Disney World. FDNY Captain Jim Grismer described what happened as Trucker approached him with his mom. I see this little boy silently walking towards me with his eyes aglow. I opened my arms, he basically climbed up and hugged me around the neck. It was as if we've been friends, brothers for years, FDNY Captain Jim Grismer said to the Huffington Post. Trucker Dukes and the firefighters of FDNY became fast friends, and shortly after his third birthday, he was sworn in as an FDNY honorary firefighter by Commissioner Daniel Negro. This honor is so special to us because Trucker Boy really thinks he's a fireman. Trucker's mom, Shauna Duke, said, We are so blessed to have been adopted by the FDNY. Not only was Trucker an honorary fighter in New York, but also in Moy. After he was sworn in a year earlier with his father and taken on a ride in a fire engine to applause of the community. One day in April in New York, as Shauna and Trucker were headed into another difficult cancer treatment, spotted the engine 44 headed out on a call. The firefighters by that time familiar with Trucker gave him a ride to the hospital so he wouldn't be late. You can see how beyond happy he was below. Today is one of those days when it would have been super easy to have a pity party. I woke up to gray skies missing my family and nervous about our long treatment day. Today is the first day they are treating his cerebral spinal fluid, which we have never done before. They mix a toxic nuclear medicine in some mad scientist lab somewhere in first thing in the morning, then deliver his flown and mix it there with liquid radiation where they inject it into his head port, and then we have to wait for four hours after to have a scan, which means a several needle posts having both ports accessed and not eating all day until after the scan because he needs anesthesia, the silver lining. As we were walking to the hospital this morning, we saw engine 44 on a call at the end of our street and realized we knew the boys. And they gave us a ride so we could get there on time. Thank you for making our day a little brighter. Bobby Jones and FFLA Disney is a blast for sure, but nothing lights up our little legend like a fire truck. We met two of Trucker's Disneyland boys, as he calls them, while they were on medical call in a park, and they invited us to their fire station. Thank you so much for the aloha. We had a blast hanging with you guys today. Look who came to see us before treatment today. Love and appreciate you guys more than you will ever know. Thanks for making our little legend smile bigger than he has all week. In 2017, the family decided to bring Trucker back to Moy, where he would spend his final days with his family. On Instagram, they started the hashtag TruckerToughChallenge and thousands of people put on their best tough faces in solidarity with Trucker. On March 3, 2017, he passed away in his mother's arms. We are going to honor him and live our lives as better dads, moms, siblings, husbands, wives, and people of God, read the family statement. We we'll love you, little warrior. Run free in heaven with no pain, no tears, and no suffering. 